Welcome to our captivating journey into the world of black body radiation, where we will explore the failure of classical physics. A body that can absorb light of all frequencies falling on it and emits radiations of all wavelengths when heated is called a black body. The emitted electromagnetic radiation is known as black body radiation. In real world, a cylindrical object, hollow and painted black from inside, with a small hole, act as a black body. Experimental observations have revealed that at a specific temperature, a black body radiates more energy at a particular wavelength than others. This wavelength with maximum energy is known as the peak wavelength. As the temperature of a black body increases, it radiates more energy, and the peak wavelength shifts towards shorter wavelengths. Fascinatingly, black body radiation does not depend on the material or chemical composition of the black body. Regardless of the material, a black body emits the same spectrum at a given temperature. Classical physics attempted to predict the distribution of energy among all possible wavelengths emitted by a black body at a specific temperature. The challenge was to find a formula or equation that accurately represent the relationship between the energy emitted at different wavelengths and the temperature of the black body. According to classical physics, a body is made up of countless atoms. Each atom acts as an oscillator, vibrating with its own frequency and amplitude, thereby emitting light of corresponding frequency. Since a body is made up of countless oscillators, it emits radiation of all possible frequencies, ranging from very few vibrations per second to a significantly high number of vibrations per second. According to classical physics, the temperature of a black body can be varied continuously, it can take on any value, smoothly changing from one value to another. Energy and frequency of the oscillators within the walls of a black body depends primarily on the temperature of the black body. In classical physics, it was believed that the energy and frequency of these oscillators were continuous and could change smoothly with temperature. With increasing temperature of the black body, the oscillators were expected to vibrate with higher energies and frequencies. Therefore, all frequencies and energies of the emitted wavelengths were considered possible, allowing them to take any value. Leading to the prediction of no upper limit on the energy or intensity of light produced by oscillators vibrating at high frequencies or shorter wavelengths. However, these classical predictions clashed with experimental observations, leading to a major problem known as the ultraviolet catastrophe. Where classical physics predicted an infinite energy output at shorter wavelengths. The word ultraviolet refers to the fact that the problem appeared in the ultraviolet region of the electromagnetic spectrum. This failure of classical physics to fully explain black body radiation challenged the foundations of the field. In our next video, we will delve deeper into the birth of quantum mechanics and a revolutionary new understanding of black body radiation. Thank you for watching.